Ladies and gents, from the comments of one of our previous videos, I bring you today the Vujovic or Conte FM24 tactic. Now, Vujovic was a tactic maker that has been all over the place. We've seen a lot of him in FM23, uh, and I've been reading a lot of fantastic things about the Conte tactic for FM24. So we're going to take a look. And again, this was from a comment of a previous video. So definitely, if you have one that you want us to check out, leave us the name, hopefully where we can find it, and we'll get to it as soon as we can. But... But I am looking forward to this one. I can't wait to see how it does. But we are going to switch things up right now, and we are actually going to go take a look at the league table first. We are using Liverpool and Aston Villa in the Premier League and Ipswich Town in the Championship just so we can see both the Premier League levels and the Championship level, how these tactics work. Right now, Liverpool, though. First place doing really well on the table. Aston Villa in fifth, doing pretty well themselves. I guess in real life, they're doing fairly well as it is, but in FM, they're predicted to be around 10th. So fifth place in the table is fantastic. Liverpool though, 29, six and three with 104 goals, tops of the league in goals for 93 points, a fantastic tally for them. Aston Villa, fifth place, 22, six and 10, 83 goals for 72 points. Really well done so far. Liverpool's schedule, unfortunately, out immediately in the EFL Cup third round against Leeds, who usually butts up against Ipswich Town's head, so we'll see what happens there. But uh, in the FA Cup, we get to the final. Again, Leeds. What is going on with Leeds this time around? But you beat Ipswich Town, you beat Leeds in the final, you get the trophy. That's number two. Unfortunately, trophy number three is not there. Ajax beats them out in the quarterfinals of the Europa League. One to two away from home and one all a draw at home. Unfortunately, not good enough to get through. So squad wise, you can see 30 goals for Mohamed Salah is finally doing really well this time around. 24 for Nunez, assist 15 for Trent, 14 for McAllister, 13 for Rabo and Simikas. It's good that they're kind of splitting the time. Average rating Mohamed Salah with a 7-3, 7-2-1 for Nunez. Pretty good all around. Aston Villa doing much better than Liverpool in the EFL Cup, unfortunately losing out in the quarters, nil one to Arsenal, and then out one all in penalties against Leeds. We see them again in the FA Cup quarters. But they do get a trophy. Brighton, 2-1 win in the Europa Conference League final, kicking the absolute crap out of Hodgick split, uh, and then drawing away from home. Interesting. But they didn't really have a strong run. Not a lot of strong teams until you get to Brighton, but still 2-1 in the Europa Conference League final. There's a trophy right there. Squad-wise, as you can see, 31 goals for Ollie Watkins. That's pretty much about standard for what we're seeing. 28 for Diaby. Very well done. Lucas Dinue, 22 assists, 16 for Alex Moreno. Average rating, you've got Musa Diaby at 7-3-2, 7-2-4 for Dinue. Data hub-wise, Liverpool doing a fantastic job overall. A lot of high numbers. And if we look at Aston Villa's data hub, you can see they're actually a little bit less than Liverpool, but still some fantastic numbers. Non-penalty expected goals per 90 through the roof. So it looks like the Man City show yet again, but Liverpool with most goals, 104. Aston Villa in third with 83. Fewest shots against Liverpool and Aston Villa, both in there. Aston Villa on the bottom. Liverpool with most possession, 55. It's generally average. Most dribbles made, both teams are in there. Uh, most tackles won, nobody. Best pass completion, nobody. Most shots for, the, of course, the attacking side. Liverpool and Aston Villa second and third. Now, this is not what I would have expected from Ipswich Town. Usually, they mimic Aston Villa to a degree, but Ipswich Town in eighth place in this league. 69 points, 95 goals. Very close to top, but they're about, it looks like they're about fourth place or thereabouts. And about an average showing for the FA Cup and EFL Cup. We have already seen that they lost to Liverpool nil two in the FA Cup fourth round. EFL Cup third round against Leicester, six to one. Now, as we look at their squad, you can see actually Hurst with most appearances this time around. Goals, 24 for Hurst, Chapeled with 21. Very well done for these two. Unfortunately, not so much for the rest. 15 assists for Leif Davis, Hurst with 11. He's doing a fantastic job, yet only getting a 718 rating. 7-4-0 for Christian Walton is one appearance, of course. But 7-18 for Leif Davis, George Hurst. That one surprised me. I would have expected 24 goals, 11 assists. He's a little bit higher up, but oh well. Where can we find them in these lists? You can see most goals, fourth place, like I said, 95. And that's after the playoffs, too. Uh, they didn't make the playoffs, but the playoff stats are in these uh, team stats overviews. So they're down in fewer shots against most possession, no. Uh, you got down in most dribbles. Of course, I mean, they're they're just kind of absent overall, all the way down in most shots for, but unfortunately on the average season for them, uh, that's kind of where they're supposed to be anyway. But we have definitely seen them higher, so I would say a little bit disappointing for them. 
But for the tactic itself, we're going to bring it to the end right now. Goalkeeper in defend. you got ball playing defenders all the way down that back line. Wing backs on the left and right in attack. A Regista in support in the central spot. CMs in attack on the midfield line. A deep line forward in support. And an advanced forward up front in attack. Attacking mentality in possession. Attacking with is fairly wide. Approach plays, pass into space, overlap in the left and right. Play out of defense. Passing directness is short. Tempo is higher. Final third, mixed crosses and hit early crosses. Run at defense. In transition, counter press counter. Distribute quickly and distribute to the back line and take short kicks. And then out of possession, a high press line of engagement, much higher defensive line, trigger press much more often, prevent short goalkeeper distribution, get stuck in, and step up more. But now, overall, how did it do for our three teams? Well, Liverpool, a fantastic job. Aston Villa, pretty good themselves. Ipswich Town, unfortunately, did not see much out of them. Uh, again, about bang on average for them. But... Overall, I mean, we've got a couple trophies in the books. Definitely want to take a look at. And as always, I always say this, this is just a flat sim. I've done absolutely nothing with these teams. My assistant coaches and managers have done all the work. If you take control, you do your own match shouts, your own training, your own tactics, your own tactical changes throughout the season and throughout each match, you could do a much better job. So if switch down from ninth place, could go up into the playoff promotion spots, if not better. But that is it for me, Sefian FM, saying thank you so much. Happy holidays to everyone. Please, if you want to have a tactic taken a look at, I'm happy to do it. Just leave your comments and give me a name, give me a location where I can find it, and I'm happy to, to take a look at whatever I can. But again, happy holidays. Have a wonderful time. Be safe. Take care and enjoy.